Hi people, I'm back. Sorry about the long delay. Got a lot to talk to you about. Uh, this week, I met with a guy named Jack Quinn. And we've been trying to get hooked up for a while. He's contacted me years back. He lost my number, I lost his number, and we finally got together and got to meet. And Jack is a lot into the dog man. He knows a lot about the dog man. He just spoke on uh, dog man encounters. And we've been trying to get together for a while, so finally got it done. And Jack showed me a lot of uh, pictures and evidence of the dog man and things I've been wanting to see, which really helped me out quite a bit. Me and Jack are working on getting together to go where the dog man's at in that area. And with the dog man showing up on my property, like Sharon seen him and Gray Tall Cloud seen him in my videos. Uh, my curiosity's up as to why. Uh, I don't have any real good reason for it. I used to have a bad opinion of Dog Man. Now, after talking to Jack, my opinion may have been swayed quite a bit. Jack seems to know a lot. There's a lot of people that deal with that deal with the Dog Man in their property, and seems like the Dog Man and the Bigfoot get along, which I've heard totally different. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to do this because since I've talked to Jack I tell you about the things that go on in my head where the foots are always in my head since I've talked to Jack I've had a lot of changes in what's going on in my head in fact everything stopped at one time when I wasn't hearing anything now I'm back to hearing things but it's different I don't know if I'm doing something that the uh, the foots don't want I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to work this out. Like I said, uh, the very first thing I said in this video is, in the title of the video is, my life with the Bigfoot clan as they want it. So I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for them. If this is something they don't want, I think I'll get told about it. And I, will, I will understand what they're telling me. If not, I'm going to go ahead with it and get with Jack and, uh, Try to get something worked out where I can give you a video of a little more information about the dog man. Uh, I, I listen to a lot of these videos on uh, all the Bigfoot encounter things. Uh, let's see. Dixie Cryptid, uh, Buckeye Bigfoot. Uh, I don't, can't remember the names of them now, but... Most of them, they want to talk about uh, terrifying encounters. I don't have that. So, the terrifying, I think it's made up in people's head just because they see what they see. Not that they're actually threatened. They're just like, oh my God, there's a big monster. No, that's that's not what it's about. Uh, Grant, they're not the prettiest thing in the world to look at. Flower was. She was pretty. Sharon said Clyde, he was a nice looking critter. So, I don't know. It's, it's just a, a beauty in the eye of the beholder, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, I got to get something settled out on this thing with the dog man. It, it disturbs me. The dog man's on my property hanging around. Whatever he is doing, I don't know if it's got to do with the foots, but... I've heard where up in Canada, a lady up in Canada, she has dog man on one side of her house and she's got the Bigfoot on the other side of her house. I can't verify that. That's just something that uh, I heard from, it might have been on Steve's channel, How to Hunt, maybe. I'm not sure. I hear so much stuff, I can't, I can't, I'm not writing it down. I don't keep records of stuff. It, it goes in the head. I remember a situation. I don't remember details. But what I'm telling you is that uh, I've never went out 
researching and digging into the foots. They came to me. Everything came to me. Like even my second plan down in Tennessee, uh, Robin Lynn set that up. You know, I, I had to go down there, but she set it up where I had a meet and greet with them. So that clan is, uh, I'm, I have a real good relationship with that clan. And uh, I, I, you know, I, I like that clan. My clan doesn't come around much to my place anymore because they've cleared the woods out around me. Like I said, I didn't sell mine. Everybody else did. So I got 45 acres of woods, and that's what they got to come to. Everything else been scraped clean. It's eventually going to grow back, but I don't think I'll live long enough to see trees be show up there. But that's the way it goes. But I still, like I said, I still do get physical visitors, visitors, and a lot of spiritual things go on. You know, they're always always visiting me. But the uh, thing of it is, right now I'm troubled. Why my intake from the foots has changed? I don't understand it. I have to figure it out. I have to figure out exactly what they are doing, what they're trying to tell me. And uh, I'll be getting back with Jack. And uh, I might have Jack get on here with me if we come up with something on the foots and with the foots and with the with the dog man all together. Maybe I can get him on here and talk talk with me about it or something. But uh, you know, I have this little camera on the computer here because my other one's. They died. I, st I ain't figured that out yet. I'm still in the middle of uh, getting my uh, tape recorder and showing you what I think is on it. What Sharon's seen should be on that recorder. Got to figure out how to open it up and get into it, which we haven't had time to do. A lot goes on in our lives, so I try to get as much done as I can. But I've been deliberately putting off this video because I'm not sure what I'm telling you. I hear the foots don't just come to me and say, "Hey, here's a written letter of what you got to do." They let me know things certain ways, and right now I'm kind of in a little dilemma with as far as what's coming into my brain from them. And uh, I'll get it worked out here soon, and I get with Jack, and we'll talk to Jack about this some more. And uh, I just have to watch what I do. Uh, Robin Lynn warned me years ago, I just can't go anywhere because I'm part of my clan, and my clan ain't like with other clans, so I have to watch where I go just for that fact. But as far as dealing with the dog man, I don't know. We're, I'm working at it. Uh, Jack come up with a theory that uh, there's a possibility that the uh, dog man at my house has become my guardian, which is possible. He's not threatening nobody. There's not... Like Gray Tall Cloud said, there's a bunch of them in the background or something, and uh, I've got no nothing threatening, no uh, intimidations, no nothing from them. So maybe they are part of my guardian. I don't know, but uh, all I know is my involvement with them is is, is real solid, and uh, I'm just waiting to see how it's going to work out. So I, when I talk to Jack, we'll figure out what we're going to do with that. Also, on another note. Things come to me later after after a while. You know, sometimes I'm a little slow to pick up on things. Back when Sharon's sister passed away, right before she passed away, we left there. That one morning I told you about how I felt the foots were uh, trying to contact me in the middle of the day. They don't do that. It's usually at nighttime. They make their efforts and I go out in the woods, talk to them, be with them. And that one morning before we left, they were there. They brought in birds. They did uh, knocks on the house, all kind of stuff for me to come out and talk to them. So I did. And that's the, I think that's a, that evening is when the white bird showed up on the ring system that we put in for Jan. And I don't know how true this is. Like I said, Jan was a great friend for the Foots. They liked her real well. And... I don't know if it's possible because I don't know what what they're all capable of. But now that I look back at it, they didn't want me to leave. We kind of figured that out. 
after after we got to the, net, the motel the next day, we sat and thought about it. Says, you know, I don't think the foots wanted us to leave that day. Did not know why. And I don't know if the foots get premonitions of things that go on or nothing else. But now I'm sitting thinking about it. I'm thinking there's a possibility the foots had premonitions of something happened to Jan. And I wasn't supposed to leave. I wasn't supposed to take Sharon away. Uh, I think they wanted, but they just don't come out and tell me these things. You know, I have to figure out what their meanings are, what they do. So what I'm doing right now is, I mean, that's pretty much in the past. Not much I can do about it, but I need to pay closer attention to the signs I get. That was one I think I missed on. Of course, at that time, we had to get back because we were paying for a rental car, and we don't have the money to go for another day or two on a rental car. So it's a financial issue as well. But anyway, we left because we had to. And I wish I had to go back and do it all over again. We might have did something different. It might have changed things where Jan wouldn't have fell and done whatever happened. And things might have been different. But anyway, that's just one of the issues I'm looking at right now is they might have had premonitions of what was going on. That's what the lady with the, the white bird, the bird showed up, and a week later her husband had a heart attack. This white bird showed up on Jan's ring, and a few days later Jan passed away. I don't know what the white bird is. The lady, the lady with the, her husband had a heart attack, she is with the foots. That's the other part. They're in her life as well. And I am learning through all my sub people that subscribe and people that uh, comment. Many of you out here have the foots in your life. However minute you think it may be, if they're in your life, they're in your life. I had a guy uh, a while back tell me that uh, he lived in an apartment building and the foots would beat on the doors or something and, and he would go out and try to find things and he could never figure it out, but it was the foots. Minute issue with them, but they're around and they pick certain people. I don't know why, but they pick certain people to be with. And uh, I tried to figure it out, but you know, I guess what? I just quit trying to figure it out. I just, I'm just enjoying it. Everybody that has the foots in their life needs to enjoy it. I have one lady right now I'm trying to figure out why she gets visited at night and she she has some marks left on her and I really think there's possibly I don't know some alien involvement uh, I've not figured all this out yet but I'm looking for help I've got people trying to help me with that and uh, I'll get back with her as soon as I can but uh, a lot of things going on uh, Sharon, Sharon been wanting to do this video, but I've kind of held her off on this because I've been pondering in my head how to handle this situation with the dog man. So my apologies to Jack. I told him I'd probably have his video out the next day after I talked to him, and it hasn't happened till now. And that's why, because of the signals and messages I'm getting from them is, is different and something's going on. And I think it might have to do with the dog man. I have to settle that more. I have to get with Jack and talk this out and see what he says. I hope it all works out. I want to give you guys all the information I can. If the dog man's getting a bad rap, I want to let people know about it. I don't know. You know, it's Bigfoot gets a bad rap. You know, my foots ain't hurting nobody. If somebody goes after them, they'll probably protect themselves, but they're not hurting nobody. My best friends. I might show you that. I got. I got my tombstone. I took pictures of it, but I, haven't, I don't know how to put it on here. But my tombstone says, Bigfoot was my best friend and I was there. It was right on my tombstone, already planted in the ground. So, anyway, I'm running out of time. And uh, I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Hopefully, I'll have Sharon on here in just the next day or so. Depends on what's going on. But I had to get this out because this is the things I have pondered in my head about what to do about the dog man. So, I'm out of here and uh, thank you very much. Check your subscribe buttons. Make sure you're all subscribed. They do. They do. People do lose those, and try to get other people subscribed. That'd be good. I want to talk to everybody. So I'll get back with you. Thank you very much, and uh, take it easy.